Hello everyone, it's me Rainbow Who's here, and boy am I itchy. It doesn't matter right now. What matters is I'm doing a review. I'm reviewing the Motown. MLP season eight, episode eleven. Got my notes. Let's hope I can remember something I just watched. I'm hoping. Anyway. So it all starts with continuity, where we visit Pee Wee, the Herman type, where, surprise, surprise, we see Pee Wee, who's grown up. Oh, if you guys don't know, Pee Wee is a phoenix. Uh, he appeared in season three. I think that's punishment enough. Um, anyway, so, Rarity wants to know what's on Spike's cheek, and what's on Spike's cheek, you ask? A moat thing. I don't know, it was, it was like a stone scale, Spike called it. Um, we have a callback to the shampoo thing that happened to Rarity, I'll probably review that at some point. Uh, like if you think I won't. <laughs> um... So basically, Spike's going through dragon puberty, in a sense. Uh, it's called the Molt. The Molt. Where you shed your skin. Kinda wish that's what I was doing. Instead, I got this. And let me tell you, it ain't pretty. But I already went through puberty, so. Ha! I don't know why I'm pointing there. Ha! And then stuff happens. Uh, semantics and stuff. Uh, Spike goes through crowds, starts yelling really loud in volume, uh, starts smelling bad. Spike, I think you need deodorant. Anyway. Um, and, and and then there's this side plot, which is kind of annoying, of Rarity... Uh, since, since she got feather feathers from Pee-wee, which is a phoenix, apparently touching them apparently makes you death or something like that for a couple bit, for a bit, I think. I don't know, I wasn't really paying attention to, to that. Um, Spike visits Sakura. Sakura does stuff. Oh no, Sakura. Rarity goes to Sakura too. <laughs> Basically, it's just a way for everyone to be there at the right time for, well, this predator to come down and try to take Spike. Then, all of a sudden, Spike turns to stone! <laughs> oh, and Twilight comes there all of a sudden, because she's the main character. And she has to be inserted into every episode, even though Season 2 established, you don't have to do that! Seriously. <laughs> though this is technically her Episode 2, so I'll allow it. But still, writers, come on. Um, like I said, Spike turns to stone. And honestly, if he didn't, if he didn't glow in that uh, in that second, I would just presume Spike dead. It's <laughs> just like, well, that's the show, folks. Four kids. Four kids, which is also a network that happened, but not anymore because, like JetX, it died. <sighs> that's sad. Very sad. Anyway, so Spike sprouts wings and defeats the Predator. I forgot what the name what, the, what they named it. It was probably a bird or something, actually. Ugh. I was gonna put out the Elements of Harmony book, but they haven't updated. Speaking of Elements of Harmony, when are we gonna get a Volume Three? Damn it! <laughs> Come on, 
from season eight to ten uh, to not season eight, ten, season seven to season t nine. Come on, <laughs> want well, volume three already? Do they have that in? Do they have that in production or something like the gr Green Book? Can I have that now? <laughs> I'm rambling. Anyway, so Spike saves the day. Uh, like I said, he fights off the predator, and the day is saved. Twilight doesn't want Spike to leave because the, uh, earlier, Smolder, female dragon, Smolder, which has the Scootaloo palette for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Smolder says that when dragons get the molt, they leave the nest, basically. So, excuse me. Spike was about to leave, but Twilight said no. You're staying right here so that you don't make more mistakes. I'm sorry. Speaking of Twilight, I want to talk about the progression of Spike and Twilight over the years. Twilight started out as a uh, as a unsociable bookworm. And Spike started out as the existent that didn't grow up. That was immature, that basically laughed at everything. No, okay, not everything, but... He was, the, he was the older, he was the younger brother, basically. He was the jokester, the, not the trickster, but he was, he was basically that person that always whined a lot. We, we have one of those. Uh, I mean, I'm that. <laughs> well, no. No, no, Anyway. And he usually got, in, got himself in his own trouble. As a kid, he would, let me phrase this. As a kid, he would get in trouble as kids do. I mean, I still do. <laughs> I mean, hell, I got poison ivy for it, so. Well, then again, I was working. Not the point. <laughs> um, point I'm making is, he went from that to sprouting wings. He grew up over, the, over time and sprouted wings. Like Twilight, who over time earned her wings. I don't know, just seeing them get challenged in this way and coming out victorious, it's just nice to see. That's why people should respect Spike a bit more. I don't know, I just... I just hate it when they mess with Spike. Especially in Season 4! I mean... God, Season 4 was so stupid! They always took away, they always took Spike out of the picture for no reason. They always either, either mis mishandled him, abused him, or something around that, around that line. And it's so annoying. It always annoyed me, and I don't know what they were thinking. <laughs> I just don't know what the hell they were thinking. I mean, they... Why did they do that? It looks so annoying. God, I wish season four never happened, or at least happened differently. God. Oh, it's so annoying. God. talking about oh look down so uh did I leave anything out no I don't think I did so with that being said um hope you guys like this and hope that my my absence my two-day absence <laughs> yeah that was underwhelming but whatever doesn't matter I uh, hope you guys enjoy this because uh, this is going to be uploaded the same day I uploaded the other video, which is me saying I'm back. So you're going to get two videos today, so yeah. The reason I'm wearing different shirts because I... Never mind. Not the point. <laughs> I'm ending this video. With that being said, I'm Rainbow Hooves, 
be yourselves every day, and I'll see you later.